What's up everyone, welcome back to another episode of AWS Tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how to use AWS Cognito in an authentication or login system. And I'm going to show you how to do the routing between pages after you authenticate it. I also have a different video where I talked about how to build a complete register and login system from scratch, from back end to front end. I'll include a link down below so you can check that out if you're interested. And before we get to today's tutorial, let's talk about what exactly AWS Cognito is. So it's basically a service that provides the capability for you to control access to your application out of the box. So that saves you a lot of the work from building out the backend and integrate that with a database. And be more specifically, what we're going to use today is the user pool. So a user pool is like a database that saves all the user credentials, such as username, email address, password, and things in that nature. And it also provides a pre-built UI for you to log in and register. So it's very convenient. So without further ado, let's get to the demo. Okay, so step one of the process is to create a very simple website for our application for logins and logouts. And now I have VS Code open an empty folder called tutorial. And we're gonna create three files that we need. It's very simple. The first one is index.html. And then we're gonna need a login HTML. And then finally, we're going to have a logout.html. And in the index.html, we're going to have something very simple. We're going to have a body tag. And inside that, let's have a h3 tag that says, welcome to my website. And then we have a paragraph that contains a anchor tag that have the href. We're not going to direct that to anything yet, but we will fill that later on. And inside the anchor tag, we're just going to do register or login, something like that. And then in the login page, we're going to have a body tag as well. And then we have a h1 tag that says congratulations, you are logged in. And then the same thing here, we're going to have a anchor tag that gives the user an option to log out. And then finally, in our logged out page, we're going to say something like, you are logged out. And then the same thing, we're going to have a anchor tag that gives the user an option to log back in. Okay, this is pretty much it. And now let's test our website locally to see if it's working first. And we're going to use Python to create a web server. Um, so if you don't have Python, you should install that first. So I'm going to go to terminal, open a new terminal. So I have Python 3 installed in my machine. So I'm going to type in Python 3 dash m http dot server. Okay, so it's running on port 8000. So I'm going to go to this port. So I'm going to type in. Okay, so it seems like it's working locally. And now we're ready to move on to step number two, which is to configure our user pool on AWS Cognito. Okay, so right now I'm on the home page of the AWS console. And now we're going to go to the Cognito page. So I'm going to type in Cognito here. And we're going to choose Manage User Pools. And it seems like we don't have any user pools here, so I'm going to create one. Give it a name. I'll just call it demo app user pool. And then I'm going to do step through everything. And here's where you choose your settings for your login system. Um, I'm going to choose the email or phone numbers, um, or just choose the email address for logins. And you can choose username if you want to. Leave that as default. And for the required attributes, um, obviously email is one of them. Let's say name as well. And you can choose other things if you want to, uh, to add to your registration page. And then hit next. And then for password, minimum length, I'll leave it as eight. And for simplicity, I'm just gonna require numbers and lowercase, but you can choose whatever setting you want to for your application allow user to sign up by themselves and then hit next leave it as default and how you want them to be verified 
um, I'm going to choose email and then I just let it create a row hit next and in here you can or you, you have the option to customize your uh, your message I'm just going to use it for here and then hit next 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 okay and then i'm gonna hit create pull okay so now it's done and then what we're going to do next is to create a app clients so i'm going to hit add an app clients give it a name demo app client name but you can give it whatever name you want to i'll leave everything as default hit create and then the next thing we're going to do is to change some of the settings for the app client. So I'm going to hit app client settings. Enable identity provider. Obviously, we're going to check this. And we need to enter two URLs here. Um, the first one is what do you want the app to route it to after the user is successfully signed in or logged in? And then the second one is after the user logged out, what page do you want to direct that to? Um, so for that, we're going to do locally so we're gonna do this and i believe we call it locked in html and then locked out html and same thing for here except it's locked out html and oauth2 we're gonna check this and you can check them all but uh for the demo i think we just need email and open id hit save changes and the next we need to add the domain name for the UI to show up here. So I'm going to click on domain names here. And the domain name here can be anything um, as long as it's unique and it's not taken by anyone. I'm just going to call it Jinmeister auth. Check availability. Okay, so it's available. So I'm going to save change. And then when we go back to the client setting, scroll down. We should see the message was gone and then we can uh, launch the UI to see how it looks like. So when I click on it, I can see the, uh, the sign in page right here. And now we are ready to connect our local app to our Cognito. Um, and all we need to do here is copy this URL here. Go back to the code in our index.html. In the href, we are going to replace this with the one that we just copy. And then the same thing in the logout page if we want to log back in we need to uh, direct that to the same login page and then finally in the logged in page if we want to log out we need to direct the user to a different uh, url and we are going to remove some of the attributes here so the first thing we need to change here is we're going to change login to log out and then it doesn't need the uh, response type or scope. So we're going to remove it. And then instead of the redirect URL here, we are going to change that to logout URI. And instead of logged in here, we are going to do logged out. So that is it. Right, let me kill the server and start it again. And now, if I go to my local page right here, do a refresh, and it's still working. And if I do register a login, you should be able to see a pop-up window here. And since we don't have any account signed in or register yet, we need to sign up for one. And let me show you one thing before we um, get to it. If I hit user, right now we don't have any users in our system yet so this is what we selected as required fields so email name and password so i'm going to type in my email address felix and then password i'm just going to do test one two three four something like that and all the requirements for the passwords were met and then i hit sign up and two seconds later I just get the verification code on my phone. So I'm just gonna enter that. Oh, before I hit confirm, let me go back to Cognito. 
and hit refresh. Now we have one user signed up, but it's unconfirmed. But after I hit this button, I was successfully logged in to the logged in page. And if I go back here and hit refresh again, and the status was changed to confirm with my email and the date and time. And now let's go back to the page. If I hit log out, and it directed me to the logout page. And if I hit log back in again, enter my email address, and then the password, hit login, and I'm logged back in again. So it seems like it's working. And this is it everyone. This is a pretty simple tutorial. I hope you have learned something. And if you like this video, I hope you can give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.